It's absolutely essential. Uh, you know, I was president of the Organization for the Study of Sex Differences in Health and Disease. It's an international organization. Um, my term ended last year, and being a part of this international organization, seeing the multiple diseases, actually beyond MS, but there's you know other neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease. There's other autoimmune diseases like lupus, and you know these are diseases that that many of them affect females more than males, and. Um, the history of, of neuroscience particularly is that the, the the diseases are studied in male mice and the trials are, are are lumping together females and males and they can very easily have different responses to treatments. And so there, there's really a need to have clinical trials designed. First of all, they need to be designed optimally for females or males, which would be the dose, timing, type, et cetera. And then in addition, not only just um, that, but but the trials that have been ongoing, you know, they'll look at them after afterwards and they'll say, oh, is there a female male difference? And the answer will be, well, not really. Well, they're not powered to show that. And we all know as clinical trialists that, you, you know, if you're not powered to see something, you don't find it. And so this needs to be taken seriously to try to find a treatment that is, is, is designed and optimized and powered to actually see an optimal effect in females or an optimal effect in males. And I want to say this isn't a women's health issue, actually, because in MS, the other thing is that men, once they get MS, they tend to do worse. And that, what I mean by that is they have worse disability progression. So we've got a paper in Journal of Experimental Medicine in 2022, and I can go, go into why I think that is. But the point of the story is that that we need to understand why males do worse at this particular, like the mean age is early 40s, probably before menopause, because women have protection of estrogens and men are starting to lose testosterone or androgens. So the point is that we need to understand why men do worse. And, and um, we can develop treatments that are tailored for them to prevent the worsening that, that, that the worst, the worsening of their disabilities in MS that, the, that is becoming widely appreciated. So it's not just a women's issue. It's a tailored personalized medicine issue that you can't just throw drugs at a large group and think they're going to act all the same on all these people. They're not. They're going to act optimally on some, suboptimally on others, and not hardly at all on, on others. And so this needs to be embraced, appreciated, and you need to find out the answer on how to treat optimally, get a positive, and then you can see, well, it doesn't work in that group or the other, but you need to start out with something that's robustly positive and then go from there and not just lump them all together and hope you find something that's going to work because it's not. People are different. Females and males are different. I will also say uh, the brain, you know, you know, the visual system, the cognitive system, the walking, they're all neuroanatomically different pathways. And to think we're going to have a one size fits all treatment to affect, to equally affect vision, walking, cognition is really unlikely. As a neuroscientist, we know that the cells within the brain differ from one region to another if you look at transcriptomics. So lumping even all the disabilities together in an EDSS or an MFSC or these other things that are composites is not the way to go. One drug could, one drug could just so happen to affect really well, you know, the cognition system, but not so much vision or vice versa. And you can imagine the ramifications. So I'm not a lumper. I'm a, a splitter. I think that the brain is too complicated. I think people's genetics are too complicated. Their hormones are too complicated. And I think we've got to be more specific if we want to get something better for neuroprotection.